video is about how to pack for a seven day cruise in only a carry-on. My carry-on for this trip is the Away Large Carry-On and I'm gonna show you how I do it. But before we get started, I thought we would go over the pros and cons of using a carry-on. So let's first go over the pros. The pros to using a carry-on. Number one, you do not have to pay the fees to check your bags. That can be quite expensive. Number two, you don't have to worry about losing your luggage because you're the one carrying it. Number three, it's quite cumbersome to carry a, or to roll around a large piece of luggage all of the time. And so a carry-on is a little bit lighter and less weight on your back, I think. And number four, the last one is with a, with a small carry-on, you have less clothing, which means less options, which equates to less stress. You don't have to worry about what you're gonna be wearing because you literally have no options. So there are some cons to using a carry-on. Number one, uh, it can be difficult to anticipate what you need on a weekend trip or a week-long trip, and just getting the essentials in can be difficult. Um, also, if you're going for longer than a weekend using a carry-on, you have to understand you're probably going to be doing some uh, sink washing or re-wearing of several items of clothing. Um, if you're carrying on and you're hauling your luggage through a very crowded airport, uh, that can be uh, not only hard on your body and your back, it can also be dangerous if you accidentally run over someone's foot. They don't like that. And number four, uh, less options can be less stressful as a pro, but the negative part of that, it can make you feel ill-prepared. So you really have to put a lot of thought into what you're gonna put in your carry-on. So when packing my clothes for a week-long cruise in a carry-on, I kind of devise a method to my madness, and it looks like this. I hope you can see that. I divide um, into different squares, sea days, port days, formal night, casual nights, miscellaneous, and random stuffs. And then I put them in piles and I start using my packing cubes. I'm gonna go ahead and lay out all of my clothes right now and I'm gonna show you how I put them into packing cubes and then how I actually organize them into my new away suitcase. Okay, I am completely done packing my new luggage. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to point out. Um, Number one, I have so much room in here. I really could put more stuff in this side and probably more stuff in this side. Um, I am not flying in on the same day that the cruise takes off or staying in a hotel before embarkation day. So in this little zipper part, I put in my nighty, extra undergarments, um, and an extra shirt. I'll wear the same jeans, same sweater, and same uh, sandals. So I will only have to touch this. Um, I had a whole packing cube left. Now, let me show you my other carry-on. This is my second carry-on. In that carry-on will be my electronics bag and my toiletries and my book. I had my jewelry in there, but it is now in this carry-on. And I think that's it. Everything fit. All right, that is it for the packing. So I don't think I did a very good job explaining my different little squares, how my mental uh, thinking works. Um, basically on sea days and port days, I wear the very, I just pick an outfit and I wear them. So on sea days, I wear my bathing suit, a very, coverable cover-up that I can wear into restaurants or into the ship anywhere shopping and my Birkenstocks. I wear that all three sea days. And then on port days, we have, on this particular cruise, we have a hiking, 
hiking excursion, a beach excursion, and a snorkel trip. Basically, I wear my bathing suit, my rash guard, and the black pants for the hike, and the little short skirt for the beach. I wear that on all three port days. Um, the only thing I vary is tennis shoes and chacos, and I'll probably bring both in one in Steve's backpack as an extra. What gets my carry-on to be a little bit heavier and takes up the most space are shoes. Uh, I can't be the only one out there with this problem, but you can't wear chacos with every outfit. You have a formal night. It's not the same shoes you're gonna wear on a casual night. Um, yeah. I, that's an issue for me, I need to work through it. But, so far as this uh, packing video goes, everything fit. Um, I feel really good about it. I have a little extra room in case I wanna buy something. I think it worked out great. So anyway, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer it. Or if you have any recommendations, um, I mean, you can give me recommendations on how to cut down on shoes, but I like the shoes option. <laughs> Happy travels.